Oh, hey, Chris. How's the job hunt going? Terrible. I can't find a job anywhere. A lot of people seem to be turned off by my dishonorable discharge. What, from the army? No, it's a euphemism. Oh, yucky. Uh, you guys, I need help unloading the groceries. My undiagnosed mom injury is flaring up. These little things of applesauce better not be for desserts. Go to hell, Glenn Quagmire! I'm sorry, but Mondays are Asian only. Why is your last name Wong? It's my married name. Now I see why you're here. Jeez, what was that about? Ah, a little scheduling mix-up. I am just so busy, I, I don't have any time to organize my own life. Wait a minute, what if you had someone to help keep you organized? Chris is looking for work, maybe he can help you out, be your assistant. Huh, maybe. Do you have any references? Uh, cowabunga, schwing, yada yada yada. Those are pretty good references. You're hired. Okay, Chris, I think you're gonna be a great assistant. Your paperwork appears to be in order, but before we get started, do you own a pair of rubber boots that you'd have to wear if you worked on a fishing boat? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, I guess it'll be a light day today, but tomorrow you should come wearing those. Okay, got it. Now, the first thing I need you to do every morning is punch me in the stomach because I'm a bad person. Is this a trick? It's the furthest thing from a trick. Go ahead. And it should be pretty hard. I'm a worse person than you think. <gasps> okay, that's really good. Now I need you to call Time Warner about my cable bill. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> Meg, do you know how to use Microsoft Excel? Yeah, I'm actually pretty good. Yeah, you would, dork. But I do need to make that spreadsheet or I'm fired. Oh, my God. Peter, our dishwasher is full of sex toys. Oh, yeah, Chris put those in there. It's for his job. He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that. He also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. So brace yourself when you open iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, my parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? And you knew about this? How could you let him do this disgusting stuff? What? You don't want to want Chris to get a job. Yeah, like mowing lawns or trimming bushes. Oh, he's doing one of those. That's it. I'm calling Quagmire right now and putting an end to this. You have reached Glenn Quagmire. Neither he nor his assistant is available. To schedule a liaison, press 1. To cancel a liaison, press 2. If you're calling to report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Chris, this is your mother. Get these dildos out of the dishwasher. Chris, there you are. We need to talk. What, are you walking a horse? Did Quagmire get a horse? Oh, no. Here we go. I want a horse! Peter, it's not a horse. Chris, what the hell is that? Oh, this is Mr. Quagmire's horse gimp. What is a horse gimp? It's a sexual fetishist who derives erotic pleasure from dressing in horse-themed leather gear. <laughs> Want to see me feed him a carrot? Absolutely not. Hell yes. Chris, this is no job for a teenage boy. You have to quit right now. I can't quit. I'm actually good at this job. Plus, I'm making decent money. You could work at the pharmacy. Quiet, Triscuit. Oh, hook me to the plow. Chris, I have $1,100 in a pink can in the garage. Just take that and we'll never speak of this again. Okay. Great. Now let's all go home. Well, that's what I get for horsing around. Ah, your joke wasn't funny enough.